How's it going everyone, Boone here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use my freebie Mogret template for Adobe Premiere Pro. This is an animated YouTube subscribe button and if you wanna pick it up, just follow the link in the video description then you'll be able to follow along with the tutorial and see how to use it. Now this is a really cool graphic. You can actually change the text, so if you're working in a different language or if you wanna change the word subscribe to your channel name, you can always do that. Um, and I've rigged it to be responsive, meaning that if you reposition or resize any individual element, the rest of the graphic will adjust accordingly and automatically, which is really cool. Now, if you do like this freebie, I created a premium version that has six Mogrits in total, including this freebie. If you wanna check out more about that, just follow the link in the video description. Also, that premium product is gonna be on sale for the first two weeks after I publish this tutorial, so go check it out, link in the description. All right, I'm here inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, if you're new to the world of Mogerts, this essentially stands for Motion Graphics Templates. And you can find them by going to Window and selecting Essential Graphics. Now, this panel has two tabs here. We have Browse and Edit. And here we have all of our existing Mogert templates. Now, all I need to do to bring mine in is to click on my actual file here that I downloaded. This is your freebie. If you bought the product, you just go in and select all the Mogert templates in that folder. And all you need to do is simply drag and drop it all over this browse tab here of the Essential Graphics panel. That will automatically import it. But the thing is, it doesn't automatically go to it, so it can be a little difficult to find in all these other Mogert templates. So what you can do is you can do a keyword search. Now I put three keywords on this particular Mogert template, so you can search the word Boone, subscribe, or YouTube. So I'm gonna type in YouTube. Now here's the template. Um, all I need to do now is click and drag it over my clip and now I have my button here. Now this might not play, depending on your system, it might not play in real speed or real time. So I'm gonna go ahead and render out the preview. Now this does come with a sound effect. So let's have a listen with just the sound effect. Okay, very cool. Now one thing that you wanna be aware of here is that this is a 4K template. And this is all fine and dandy here because I've been working in a 4K project. So let me show you what happens if you're not working in this particular resolution. So I have a 1920 by 1080 sequence over here. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna click and drag the template, bring it in. And now here I have a clip mismatch warning and it's basically Premiere telling me or asking me, do I wanna have my sequence automatically adjust the settings to match the Mogret template that I'm importing, which I do not want to. And if I want to make sure that this doesn't you know, show up again, I can deselect this here. But maybe there is some instance where you want that, but not for the Mogret template. So I'm going to click on Keep Existing Settings. And now the problem is that this is really huge, and that's because we're looking at a 4K clip in a 1920 by 1080 frame. So it's essentially like twice the size of what it would look like in a 4K frame. So to have it match this particular frame, I'm gonna right click on it and click scale to frame. Now it's looking good and we're ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna go back here. Now if I click on the layer and I go back to the Essential Graphics panel and open up the Edit tab, now I can see my parameters of what I can adjust with this particular template. Um, if you buy the premium product, there's a couple of different options for each individual Mogert template. Some of them have a, a second piece of text where you can add your channel name. Those are all editable as well. Some come with a little play button. So they're a little bit different looks. So if I open up the text area, let's check out what we can do here. So let's say I wanna change the word subscribe to the word in German. So I think this is how you spell it. So it's adjusted here. And if you notice, I said that I rigged this out to be responsive, so the background is automatically responding. Now I can go in here and change the font if I want. I can make it a bold. Um, I have all caps here. I could change it to lower caps, but I'm not going to do that. I can bump up the size. And now check this out. This is really cool. As I'm bumping up this size, um, actually, let me move the, cur the, the playhead to where the cursor is here. Now as I move the size, you can see a couple of things happening here. The background is automatically adjusting. That notification bell is adjusting accordingly. And the cursor is staying stuck right in that position. So this is rigged out perfectly. You're not gonna have to worry about moving uh, much of anything aside from everything as a master graphic. And now, I'm gonna set that actually to 150. 
Now down here, I have right and left position and up and down position. And I also have a little asterisk that's showing you the default positions because it might be a little confusing once you move these sliders and let's say you wanna go back and you wanna center it up. To do that, just use these default positions here. So now I'm actually gonna put this in the lower uh, right hand side by moving these sliders. Now just to quickly illustrate the responsive background, check this out if I add all this text. So there you go, just so you're aware that you could put in a really long piece of text if you want. But I'm not gonna do that. Actually, let's just change it back to the word subscribe with an exclamation point. Okay, so that's the text group. Now I'm gonna go down, at least I think that was everything. Yeah. Now the second section is notification bell, and this is simply the scale of the notification bell. So as I scale this up, the cursor is gonna stay stuck to the middle of that notification bell, and the circle burst elements are gonna scale along with it. Also have a little note here that says default scale is 17, because that can be hard to remember. Now the other cool thing is as I scale this up, it's rigged to that it's not gonna overlap the text, the background will adjust accordingly. So once again, um, I've tried to rig this out to where it's uh, super easy to use. Okay, so there we go. Now this graphic is ready to rock and roll. Let's take a quick look at it. All right, very cool. I hope you enjoy this freebie. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section if you like it, give me a thumbs up. And I'm actually gonna be putting out, or I'm gonna be trying to put out a product a month. And each time I put out a product, I'm gonna be giving away one individual aspect of that product as a freebie. So if you wanna get access to those freebies, um, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can see, oh, oh hold on. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. Do what I'm, do what the graphic says. Also, if you liked it, be sure to go check out that premium product. And actually, for the first two weeks after I publish this tutorial, I'm gonna be running a sale on that premium product. So if you're still in that window, follow that link and, uh, and uh, check out that product and get the discount. And yeah, have a good day, I guess.